Hi Taurus, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your reading for how your person feels towards you for July. So this is the person that you have on your mind, Taurus, for July. We will see how they feel towards you, the action that they would like to take, how do they view you, what are the blockages they're facing with you, what they love best about Taurus, their hopes when it comes to you, what they don't like best about you, their true intentions, where are you both at, and the best possible outcome that they see with you. Taurus, please, and the person they have on their mind. Wow. I'm just going to look at this quickly. There's way too many. I have the Queen of Swords and the King of Wands. So I feel like two people here that there's some type of misunderstanding between you and someone here. I'm getting the King of Wands is coming as very passionate. But the Queen of Swords is detached. One more. And if you're interested in the extended, the link will be in the description box below. It's just going to be how you both mirror each other. Getting someone is feeling stuck. If this Ten of Pentacles wants to come here, Virgo energy. There's something here about commitment issues. It's like some type of gathering or reunion, but it has to do with some type of commitment commitment issues. Ooh. My goodness, so many measures. Oh, well, that really tells me a lot what they see possible with you. Taurus, your person feels like that they need to talk to you. They need um, to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation or just get to know you more. That's what I'm getting with that page of pentacles. Very sensual, but it's coming. Okay, we are at the beginning. What else? Even a certain friendship, you know, starting here. And it's not just friendship because they're coming with the emperance. But the, the way that they feel towards you is that they want something here where it feels grounded, where you get both to talk to each other, get to know more about one another. The, the way, again, that they're coming towards you is like the Taurus energy uh, with a lot of sensuality. We're talking here a lot of unconditional love, a lot of pleasure. Sorry, guys, I had to actually um, like correct the angle because I, I felt like you guys could not see the cards. Anyway, so um, they're coming to you with love, unconditional love, pleasure. That's how I see the emperors uh, towards you. A lot of, I want, I want to say that there's a lot of charming energy with that Venus. It's you. I feel like that's you. They want to come towards you. The interesting part is that they, how do they view you? There's heartbreak. I don't know if they they feel like you um, were the heartbreaker or, you know, vice versa here. But th they look at you as the one that, you know, caused heartbreak or that you are still heartbroken over them in this situation. The Hierophant, and again, I'm getting some type of commitment situation. The Hierophant is the blockages. A lot of Taurus, right? It may be that there's something here because of different cultures, different religion, even uh, some type of, you know, commitment, vows. That's what the blockage is. It's just someone here that feels like that they want to be with you, but they can't because <laughs> of other situations here. What they love best about you, it feels this emotional whirlwind in a way with the Jupiter because I'm getting that there's so much in Jupiter or Wheel of Fortune here. It, it feels something that is faded. It feels uh, it's there's this natural flaw to you. Um, that's what they love best. The Wheel of Fortune, it means, again, there's this kind of, I just like you because of who you are, or I just, you know, enjoy you because that's that's how I feel. There's It's very random. It does not have a specific reason. Is what they love best about you. It's just you being you. And it feels faded. It feels that always when you are in, in, in their presence, you might be very open, good-natured, going with the flow. What are their hopes? It looks like they're trying to find the answer, especially since the blockage is, is the Hierophant. It can be very much understanding that's why, because there's something here about different cultures, different religions, or different upbringing or faith. 
that they're trying to find the star at the end of the tunnel. They're hoping here, if you guys have not been talking, or again, there's been some type of heartbreak, to be able here to find that pathway. A lot of inner reflection and understanding here. What they don't like, the, the sadness, again, there's something here, there's been heartbreak, farewell, emotional loss. There's still that regret that is still holding on. The What could they, they hope for or could they have said to you? I don't know if they feel like you're still, you know, holding on to something else or they're still pining for you because their intention is the tower. It looks, <laughs> whatever it is here that, that's why I'm saying this person, very intense because they, they want something to come here. Like, I, I don't want to be bound by this, um, you know, tradition upbringings. I, I want to find the answer and for once and all here to be open about it. So the tower being their uh, intentions towards you is coming as something very sudden, an epiphany realization that it's not easy. But let's face it, the tower comes because something is not built here on secure ground. It means that something here does not hold anymore. There's a certain purging here that uh, with this person, their intentions, everything has to change. It may be that that's what they're afraid. They don't want to cause this. We will see what the clarifier will be. Both of you want to share. Both of you are balancing each other. And both of you here feels very generous towards each other. What they see possible with you, Taurus, is a connection, a true spiritual connection, a true emotional connection between the two of you. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles as feelings. Yeah, they want to talk to you. They want to get unstuck. That's what I feel uh, with this person. Look, the lovers. There's something here that keeps this person. Yeah, is that there's some type of family situation, establishment, or um, possessions, money, material stuff. But they feel like they want to talk to you, even if it is just, you know, to say where you both stand right now. Needing some type of clarification. What is the Empress? My goodness, that is like giving birth to new passion here. They, they are all about pleasure and all about chemistry and all about desire with you. That's how they want to come forward. Why the Three of Swords as how they view Taurus? One more. Okay, yeah, guys, you, you, there's heartbreak between the two of you and there's misunderstanding and tension and challenge. I don't know if you both of you are fighting this because there's been some type of hurt. But that's how they view you. I don't know if there were other people involved or you both had a fight and this caused some type of heartbreak. Okay, this wants to come here, the Three of Cups. I'm getting that there's reconciliation or there's other situation being involved. Someone moved on. Look, the Two of, the two of Cups. Something happened between the two of you guys. I, I feel like someone said, you know, it's best to leave. I don't know if someone got in, in the way, but I'm getting that there's still this desire to reconcile. Why the Hierophant? Why the Hierophant? Okay, we have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. There's a lot of things that are being withheld. There's this certain knowledge. There's this certain understanding telepathic connection but because again of what's right of what's wrong or what what is right now that someone has to withhold back I'm, I'm getting that the person here is not opening up 
this there is such a beautiful the yin and the yang the subconscious and the conscience here but the knight of pentacles and it may be for some of you regarding money or some type of stability but um is there someone is not opening up is holding back because of you know contracts vows or different opinions here why the will of fortune one more Oh, wow. I don't know if this person um, that you're dealing with had some type of codependent issues here and you set them free. Because that will of fortune tells me there's certain things here that were codependent, uh, obsessive, unhealthy. You came and turned that around for this person. Also, they truly, truly believe that, again, there's something faded about you too. But I'm getting that um, that Wheel of Fortune is just changed. Also, there's this energy between the two of you that somehow, no matter what happens, you guys are stuck on each other here. Again, this is the perspective that there's this circling back. Like, no matter where we're going, we just end up with one another. What is the Hermit here? One more. Yeah, they're trying to find a way. They're at crossroads. They're hoping to be able to get clear Queen of Wands here. Very passionate person. But I'm getting uh, that that's what they're hoping for. That someone will be clear in this direction. A lot of inner reflection. They are at crossroads. Why they don't like the Five of Cups towards you? Someone put a distance here. One more. Okay. There was, you see, they want to come with the empress. They want to come with that passion towards you. So to me, someone here just turned their back or left unsatisfied a farewell and did not react. There was, I don't know if it was hot and cold for some of you one moment here, because the night of wands, I, it may be age difference for some of you as well between these two. But I'm getting that there was a certain actions here that left the other person pining or feeling lost. What is the tower, please? What is the tower? One more. Wow. Okay, so their intentions is to talk to you. There's something here from the past that is coming in. It, it, it's like a surprise. Whatever, if you guys not talking, this person feels like, okay, it's like something to happen suddenly here and to bring back what you guys had in the past. That's what the intentions are. It's coming a little bit here as a big epiphany, as very sudden, but it's just someone that feels like, okay, we um, let's break the silence, let's talk, let's bring the past. It's like, I don't know if they're hoping that something happens where you both here finally find a way to come together. What is the Six of Pentacles here, please? One more. You both want this though. You both want to share. You both share this fantasy, this happily ever after towards each other. You both have that. What is the Two of Cups, please? What is going on with the Two of Cups? One more. Okay. Taurus. A Ten of Pentacles, I don't know if someone has had commitment problem or is um, committed otherwise, because what they see possible is to have a family with you, an establishment with you. Yeah, these are the blockages. I don't know if they feel you have the blockages or them with that higher fent, but they want this. What they see possible with you, it's a, a life where you have everything. We will see in the extended, for those that are interested, how you both mirror each other. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.